quality by design helps us in providing knowledge space design space and the control space so is it possible to implement this qbd like uh, phenomenon uh, during our force degradation or stress testing during stability study and in real life product testing so that is the effort made by this presentation so let us understand what is mean by knowledge space what is mean by design space and what you can call as a control space in the context of stress testing stability study and the actual product analysis so let us talk about the first term that is the knowledge space now you can see in the diagram that the knowledge space uh, is biggest amongst design space and the control space so how you can design the knowledge space the knowledge space can be designed by understanding the potential degradation products now how one can understand the potential degradation products by conducting the stress testing so what kind of stress testing are generally recommended if you look there are four different kind of stress testing the first one can be hydrolytic stress testing where the interaction of water molecule with your principal analyte can be seen similarly along with the interaction of water molecule you need to also understand the interaction across the entire ph range starting from acidic to alkaline so hydrolytic degradation is not only about the interaction of water with the molecule but you must also understand it is also the interaction of molecule at the acidic ph and alkaline ph so there is three important interactions acidic hydrolysis alkaline hydrolysis and water hydrolysis will give you the hydrolytic potential degradants this is the first uh, potential degradation that you must look in the second kind can be a uh, very prominent which is about the thermal degradation or thermolytic degradation because you are going to store the product at different conditions and then trying to understand how the temperature is enhancing the rate of degradation that is thermolytic degradation what is third one the third one can be photolytic degradation because there is a uv radiations there is a visible uh, fluorescent light available so this ev plus visible radiations can also bring some kind of degradation that is called as the photolytic degradation the fourth and last one can be about oxidative degradation because there is a availability of oxygen inside this air and also in case if your drug product contain some oxidizing agent as in the form of impurities so that condition can very much bring the oxidative degradation so we talked about this four important uh, degradation phenomenon so you need to understand once you expose your drug substance or drug product under this four different kind of degradation processes what kind of impurities degradants are getting formed that is actually called as the potential degradation product now this can be very big in the number but that is your knowledge space now that you know that i now understand what is the intrinsic degradation possible for this molecule and probably whatever may be the actual degradant possible during stability 
can be few amongst this set of degradation product so first and foremost build your knowledge space by designing appropriate stress uh, study or the forced degradation study and this is represented by the outer circle which is very big in the size obviously because it is going to have a more number of degradants uh, possible the second point is the design space so how the design space can be built see you are now going to study the possible degradants if the product stored at long term conditions as well as accelerated condition so long term can be your proposed storage condition like uh, for india it is uh, around 30 degree celsius Uh, and it can be with the seventy five percent RH, and accelerated can be a forty degree Celsius and seventy five percent RH. Now, when you charge the product into these two conditions, long term and accelerated, what are the actual degradants getting generated? Maybe for six month of accelerated study, and maybe your proposed. shelf life of let us say 24 month now this is actually your design space that you know very much now though there is a potential degradants in big number but when i study my product at the proposed storage conditions which is my long term condition and at accelerated condition which is little exaggerated as compared to my long term these are the only degradants possible can you see a another circle just inside the knowledge space which is smaller in size as compared to the knowledge space and which is quite logical and practical because the condition that you are implementing in the stability study are much much milder as compared to the forced degradation conditions so the rate of degradation the number of degradants will be much less as compared to the forced degradation list of degradation product now you understand that is my design space now that this is the possible degradation impurities if i have this kind of process and the packaging once you understand that and if you find that okay now this is going to meet my product specification or the regulatory requirement if all the degradants are below my specification you can happily go ahead with actual manufacturing and marketing of your product and then you are going to manufacture the badges but for some reason let us understand that this design space is not supporting your specification space i mean if the percentage of degradation or the amount of degradants found during the accelerated stability study or long term stability study is above your specification limits then you need to revisit your formulation you need to revisit your packaging conditions and understand what are the process change manufacturing change or packaging change you need to bring in so that this impurity level will go down once you do that that is your perfect design space now that everything is within the control and you can go ahead with the actual product commercialization look at the third point that is a control space now the control space is what the sample that is actually going to the market now see the sample is not going to get stored at 40 degree and 75% rh you were not at the 30 degree celsius and 75% rh the storage conditions can be much comfortable as compared to the stability conditions and hence can you predict that the amount of degradant that you are going to observe in batch to batch 
or during the real life scenario is going to be a little lower as compared to the stability degradants or the batch which is just released inside the market even at its near expiry can have the lower amount of degradants present as compared to the amount of degradants observed in the accelerated stability storage conditions and that is the reason if you see the last circle that is third one which is in the smaller size as compared to the design space so do you understand you know how this uh, stress study stability study and your final release analysis can be used to build a quality by design concept it cannot be called exactly as a quality by design concept but you can understand you know how this different uh, processes of force degradation and stability study and the real life scenario is going to help you in understanding the overall products degradation let us look at the information provided inside the three chromatograms i mean they are just representative of each stage or the each space but let me explain you what that will reveal you the first one is the knowledge space so the number of impurities are much higher hmm, in number and the quantities as compared to the number of impurities presents inside the design space there are very few impurities available in the design space and further if you look at the chromatograms which is at the control space you will find the number of impurities are much lower even lower than the design space and much lower than the knowledge space it just a representative chromatograms but this will help you in understanding why this uh, circle uh, space is different for knowledge design and the control thank you so much for watching this video and i will meet you soon with such kind of very informative and useful videos bye bye